about to be NaNoWriMo. If you are on the East Coast, then it already is because on the Central Coast or Central South time, it is 1118. I have prepared all of my things for tonight's write-in and I am super excited. I am even in my stitch Kigurumi, which I said I would be to get in the post-Halloween spirit. So, yeah, I have gotten all of my things ready. So, I have my screen set up here with the old new draft here, my draft six. My old draft is behind there. My cat just decided to join me. Say, oh, yes, love that. Love it. Um, my lipstick stained drink is there. I have my timer clock up. I also have my ambient music ready to go. I think I'm going to actually change it from Dumbledore's office to, hello Oliver. I'm gonna put on, let's do autumn rain ambiance. That's kind of nice. So that set up my stream yard is there. I'm not in broadcast yet. Oliver, I love you. You're being annoying. Pick pens and pencils if I have to do some quick plotting. My beautiful NaNoWriMo sheet from Heart Breathings. I have printed it out so that I have my days, all that good stuff. Planner is here. The notes and everything for the lunar um, calendar is under there. And yeah, I think I am pretty well set. So yeah, I'm just gonna go get my spooky juice, AKA pumpkin spice and we will get going. NaNoWriMo! So I just finished up my first NaNoWriMo live write-in and it was on Halloween, it was on the eve of NaNo, and I got about 3,200 words. Um, about 1,200 of those were re already written words. The rest of the words which is a math problem and it's 2 a.m. The rest of the words that I got were new words. So if you subtract 32 from 12, 32. so yeah, it's late. 32 minus 12. I got about 2,000 new words tonight. So go me, that's about 300 some odd 343 above what I needed, I believe. Because we need 1667. Yeah, whatever. It's a math problem. I'm sleepy and my babies are sleepy and yeah. We're going to bed. <laughs> hey guys, so it's 7 a.m same day and my eyes are burning <laughs> I have so much I gotta get done today a lot of audio work to get done but I think I'm gonna take advantage of a couple more hours of sleep because I got so many words in last night and just the way that the schedule is gonna go today I have pumpkin spice latte in the fridge because I was smart and the bottle pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks like how they usually have the mocha fraps or the vanilla fraps or whatever they are the cold ones it's really good it's really yummy so I'm gonna go back to bed and I'll see you guys when I'm awake and alive. Hey guys, it is 11.39. I've been awake since about 11.30. <laughs> I slept extra um, because up late last night. So I am 
ready. I have my pumpkin spice latte, which is very good. And then I also have my breakfast because again, I'm going to be getting some audio really quick because I need to get that done first. And then I think I'm going to do my last two sprints of the day for Nano. Um, so yeah, more the hair that just freshly roll out of bed head, but um, let's get cracking. So what I just did on that time lapse, ignore the construction happening outside, they're still fixing our complex from the tornado. Um, <clears throat> I went through pre-written words that I had taken from the old manuscript and placed into the new manuscript. It took me about four minutes to do, to just read through it, brush up on it, um, close up some gaps in the paragraphs, close up some grammar issues, um, little things like that. And so now I have put in my beautiful little um, page break that my cover designer has so wonderfully created for me and this first chunk of this chapter I am now going to put new words to page because where underneath the page break this chapter starts should have gone on to last night's previous chapter that I totally rewrote because it was their first transformation and I hadn't had anything written for that so I'm about to go into how she feels on a full moon because of her parentage and a little bit of her mother's side of the family and their lore and things of that nature that she's not quite sure of yet, but she has an inkling that there's something there. So super excited. I'm gonna do 10 minutes sprint um, and see how many words I can pump out. New words, which is so exciting. So I will be doing two different types of word counts this nano. I will be doing 50 as a rebel, um, which means some of those words will be recycled words, um, which is how you do a rebel, how you do as a rebel. The other word count I'm keeping track of is how many new words I'm actually able to put into this manuscript during nano, and I'm really hoping I can at least get about 25 to 30,000 new words into the script, which means it's going to be probably past 100 thousand words a little bit but it is a paranormal kind of adventure-esque as it's a paranormal action with romance suspense thing so it is paranormal um family saga so it is going to be a bit longer than your usual novel so let's get back to writing So guys, I have completed my word sprints and this is to show where I am right now. I have 8,733 words. Of those words, 22,523, probably around 2,550. So I didn't count the last few lines that I did that were just original words. Um, because they were strewn about in the middle of the draft words that I already had. So again, my cat is being incredibly annoying and on my lap. <laughs> but so you can see that I am at this much. And again, I am a nano rebel. I just did um, that 2523 number was just today, original words for new scenes that I had to do because I had to add in the paranormal aspects. So down here it says, um, this is not my average word day. I usually get like about 2,500, which is about right. 
per day and it's this route we done November 6th which is a lie <laughs> because um, today was a huge huge day for um, for my writing so I have my word count tracker here so I was keeping track of all of the new words that I have so I have officially hit the 50 thousand word mark which means that I'm going to come over here to my Kanban board and put this 50 down here and move my 60 here and my NaNoWriMo project is also going to be moved down to here because I have started it and yeah so I have 60,000 words, 70, 80, 90, 100 win nano. I have ideas for some of the stuff I want to talk about during NaNoWriMo daily vlogs. And then, of course, Jenny, my editor, who is amazing and wonderful. If you're looking for an editor, edits for indies. She is bomb. Um, she's done all of my books for me. And then um, I will format with vellum and proof, final proof, and I will write the blurb and order my wrap for my cover designer and then I release sometime in November um probably right before uh Thanksgiving so yeah and this is all I've gotten done those are audiobooks some of them I can't talk about um but I've gotten that and all of these done already and this is just month two of the quarter and I have all of this stuff which the, all of this stuff will be done in at the end of November. This will still be December because I will be on vacation. I am going to do 10K day probably later on this next week. Um, I already had a 5K day, but again, I am a rebel. So, um, ew, my toe. I am a rebel, so that, take it as you will. Um, they're not original words, but I am working towards my goal. So I am going to come over here now and I'm going to log my first day in this beautiful planner setup that Heart Breathing Sarah Cannon gave us. So my average I needed was 1,667 and I have 8,000. 733 and my overall total right now is sitting at 50,000 four words so um, again I already had 41,000 words written prior to nano because I wanted to get the majority of the copy paste not really I only had to sprinkle in a little bit of the paranormal in the beginning first few chapters but now we're getting into the nitty-gritty so now we're writing more original words um, and over here I have day one crossed out because we did it and also guys I wanted to remind you that I did go ahead and do the beginning 41,000 words because I will have a week completely away for the holidays so I will probably not be writing as much so I really wanted to get as much done before the holidays um, that way I could spend as much time with my nephew and my family as possible and just to relax and don't worry I have daily videos that I have already pre-recorded that are already scheduled to go up daily. So for the rest of the day, I think as it's going to be 100% an audio edit day. I'm already edited up one chapter of audio and I am going to go ahead and listen to an entire novella that I have already recorded. I only have three chapters left to record later on today. Hubbin still is getting some sleep. So I'm going to go ahead and start listening to that and do a workout. And then I believe we have D&D &D tonight. I'm not 100% sure. It's been a while since we've gathered together to quest. So I'm super excited about that. But as you can see, the first day of NaNoWriMo was almost a 10,000 word day. Um, sometime next week, I'll probably try to do a 10,000 word day. Granted, it isn't really a real 10,000 K day um, as a zero draft. Nanoer, it will be a 10,000 K day as a nano rebel. So some of the words have already been pre-written. I only have to go in and change a little bit of it. Um, so yeah, I hope your guys' first day of nano was epic and amazing. Um, thank you so much for everybody who has watched the live stream that I did last night. I hope it helps. 
I know that when other authors go do live streams and I can't watch, I will go back and write alongside them because it just makes me feel like I'm not alone and really in some of the talks in between what they say really inspires me to let me know that I'm not the only one who's feeling this. So I really, really hope that mine also help in the same way. And I just love this entire community. It's so great. Um, it's really helped me keep, it's really helped keep me on task. So I'm about to go edit up this video and post it for you guys. And hopefully tomorrow I will be more awake, have my face on and We'll do some more word sprints, we'll do some more writing, and we'll see how far we can get. Um, since this is a four week month, I only technically have three weeks in nano, so again, that's why I pre-did the first 41,000 words because my book is gonna be over 100,000 words um, to the point where I may even have to cut some stuff. So, one love you guys. See you tomorrow on Nano Day 2.